Hello everybody and welcome to Arson Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I thank you for joining me in the second of my series, Flipping Willow Creek. Today I am flipping the Crick Cabana and turning it into this lovely little red starter house, perfect for a little family to grow into or a moderate sized family to just enjoy. Uh, if you watched my first video, I kind of explained how I'm doing the finances on these builds. So what I did is I sold the very first house and that was the Streamlit single. I sold it for 21,211 simoleons and I had $133 or simoleons left in my pocket. So that gave me 21,344 to start with. Then I gave myself 4,242, uh, 4,242, which is 20% of what I sold the first house for as a as a sale price, like, you know, my profit. And then, gets a little complicated, I also gave myself 10% of what it cost to buy this house, the Crick Cabana, and Crick Cabana I bought for 13,663 simoleons, so I got an additional 1366 for my reno budget. All right, so that gave me 13,289 simoleons after I bought this house to renovate it, uh, which ended up being a fairly decent amount. It allowed me to turn this into a three bedroom house and give plenty of living space on the first floor for the family to do with what they may. They have a nice kitchen. So it came out really, it really worked out really well. Now the only thing I'm sad about, um, because I can't change the footprint, I couldn't really give them any more yard because this house takes up a really good amount of the yard. So what I did is I went ahead and I put in some trees and I made it a little bit more lush so that the family members could you know kind of at least have a little place to play outside enjoy whatever so anyway so that is what I'm doing I decided again to go up since the lots are so small I could technically have added on to the exterior uh, while leaving the footprint the same, but decided that up would work. I think I'm gonna try to keep a lot of the houses on this street looking fairly similar just because, you know, they already did as they were very small starter houses. Almost all of them, I believe, are one story. They don't have very big lots. And so I figured I'm gonna kind of go that route, maybe bring them all to second levels with varying degrees of rooms. I'm not really sure, um, as I haven't started my third build yet, so I'm not really sure how that's gonna play out. But I definitely want this to be like a fun street. I can kind of imagine like a bunch of families living here with small kids and all of them kind of congregating uh, out and about. And I was even thinking about turning the, one of the empty lots into like a playground slash pool for them so that during the summer months they have somewhere that they all can gather, the kids can get all their energy out, they can go crazy and have a ball playing. So um, you might see that coming in a future Flipping Willow Creek video. So I'm really excited. I'm kind of, I'm kind of really excited to see how this whole series plays out and if this turns into a viable, uh, a viable challenge for you guys, you know? I'm not really sure, uh, at this point yet if it is because it is like I said the math is very complicated it takes me about 20 minutes just to to get all the math worked out I'm sure that'll get easier as I go along and of course I'm still asking for any suggestions you guys might have to help me modify the math a little bit but uh, I, I definitely have to make sure that I make a profit on each of these builds so that I can afford to go into the next house and make it better like I don't want to start with the same budget and I don't want to give myself like I don't want to cheat and give myself like unlimited funds because I mean I can do amazing stuff with that and what we have to work with in the game but it, the challenge really comes into working within a budget not going over it um, staying within it and seeing what I can do within that budget while still making it more attractive and more viable for a family so 
Um, that's where I'm at. And that's kind of like where my thought process has been through this whole build. And I love the reaction you guys all gave me to the first build. Um, that that was great i'm glad you enjoyed it so much and i hope you enjoy the rest of the series because already it's probably one of my favorite things that i've done on the channel and i look forward to doing more of it and i'm just trying to hold myself back so i don't like overload you guys with a ton of flipping willow creek videos uh but i guess maybe in my my real life i kind of fancy myself um being able to do something like this because it is just you know, it's fun. It's fun to take something that might be a little bit run down, a little bit long in the tooth, and make it uh, new and fresh and welcoming and, you know, give it new life and not always just tear it down and start over. Uh, and I live in, a, in an area where you've got kind of a mixture. You've got one town near me, almost nothing has historical uh, value, I guess, because all the older houses are torn down to make way for mansions. And then I live in an area where almost all of that neighborhoods are new because this wasn't an area that was developed like 20 years ago. And then there are towns around me where, you know, there's a mixture of old and new, but um, the, the trend in my area tends to be take the old, get rid of it, put new in, make it fancy. And I kind of like have always had this dream of buying like a Victorian house or an old, old craftsman style house or something that's like, you know, very, very old, 1920s, last century, um, and then keeping the exterior looking like that kind of old time but going inside and completely gutting it putting in all the new technologies and sprucing it up and just making it this luxuriously modern house inside while the outside retains all of that charm and of course interior wise i would keep like the moldings and things like that and work them into that modern design uh, that's always been a dream because where I used to live, there were a ton of houses that were just stunningly beautiful. They looked like cakes. They were so beautiful. And um, these houses were old and they were grand. And, you know, they have so much history and story behind them. And, you know, I would want to keep some semblance of that. But, of course, over time, age comes, wiring needs changed, walls need to be ripped out, you can't use lead paint you can't do all those things so it's always kind of been a dream to like gut the interior modernize it open it up and yeah so maybe someday in my life I will I will get to that point um, right now while I'm house hunting I am kind of looking more at houses that are turnkey because I don't want to live in a construction zone and I do want the modern conveniences so I'm kind of caught between a rock and a hard place with my real life budget not being one that will give me all of the amenities I want for the houses I want in the neighborhoods I want. Um, so yeah, so it's, you know, being able to kind of play these things out in The Sims really uh, is helpful to me because it kind of lets me work through what's going on in my brain when it comes to real life. So anyway, um, I am going to let you guys go ahead and enjoy the rest of this build. Of course, like always, if you have any comments, you want to share anything with me, please do so. I love hearing from you. I love hearing what you think of these builds. I love hearing what you think of the series. Uh, anything, just share with me. I love it. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and then ring the bell and let YouTube know that you would like notifications when I post something new on the channel. And that way you won't miss out on anything I have coming up. And I have a lot of really great stuff planned. Uh, also, one note when you get to the end of the video and I'm showing you the finished product, I forgot to take screenshots before in the house. So you'll have to like kind of just look at the afters. Um, but remember, it's a shotgun style house. So it had like a kitchen and a bathroom and that was pretty much it. So anyway, guys, I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of this. I'll see you guys again real soon.